Got your back against the wall, no, you know you never had a chance. Should've known better, now you better make other players. There's no going back, gotta let you know in advance. This is Game Squad. Okay, what is up, guys? We got a top 16 Yang Zing deck profile from YCS Toronto. What's your name? Brian Chow. Awesome, how'd you do today? You got top 16, how's that feel? Yeah, it's alright, but like, the thing is, I got TQ'd in top 16 because of like. Uh, I had two Yazi in the extra deck, but I thought it was one and they were all like stuck together. Yeah. Okay, well, I feel let's get into this. Uh, well, first off, why did you decide to play Yang Zings? Like, really, I've, I've been working on the deck for so long and like, I just stumbled upon a miracle, like, day, like while I was testing before. I was like, all this time, like, every Yang Zing player ever was moving in the wrong direction. We were all like, play more floodgates, play more floodgates, so let's not let them play the game, but like, I realized to beat Necro in this format, you have to play no floodgates because they're always playing something like the counters to that, and most of your floodgates are terrible against Burning Abyss and shit all. So like, there, and so like to beat Necros, like they're maining enough floodgates. I mean, they're maining enough gates for floodgates that like, they, it just doesn't help to play floodgates against them and like everything else. True. All right, so let's see the profile. Okay, so first like the. Yeah. The three staples. Uh, Valor and Ghost Ogre. Valor, I really like the tech negation and I want to put this up, add more, especially since uh, I thought, like, I wouldn't be surprised to see more more mirror matches. This card is the greatest thing ever in the mirror match. Like, yeah. This card is always, you always want to draw. I was playing against uh, another Yangtzee player for fun uh, a while back. Uh, I only made one Valor, he made three, and I lost him because. It, through the entire game, he had Slytherin on board, and he just kept stopping my plays with the tech bailer, even after an amazing top immune. Oh, true, okay. BLS, because it's great. BLS, also everyone else who plays Yangzing doesn't like this card, it's a very decky card. Sometimes, but like, the power is so much worse, and you can stall until you have a light and dark. It's not hard, since, since it's super easy to search light and dark. Yeah. Okay. And then Ghost Ogre, like, these two are searchable off Chowfang, which we'll get to later. But it's just great for many matchups. And if it's the only card in your hand, you can discard it to stop trading as well. Okay, okay. Now let's see the monster lineup for the Yang Zings. Uh, first, the Pendulum. Yep. Uh, people really don't like these guys because, like, they say it's very gricky. Yep. But two of this, especially, I, I highly recommend. Yep. Uh, this card was in here for one reason. And one reason only, which was I don't want to lose the tower strip. Okay. What uh, does it do? It allows for a play. When it's summoned from the deck, yep. or when Pendulum summoned, it turns one of my Yangdings into a tuner. Okay. So the, the play usually is. Uh, or should I get to this later? Uh, yeah, we, we can talk about it later. Okay. And then the monster lineup, uh, one of each of these. Yep. Uh, they're very situated. Situational, and you don't want to just to see much of them. Yep. But uh, both of them are good just to have in the deck because this allows for the best play against Burning Abyss. You can yep. Chowfang off them for Dark and Trap Immune. Yep. And uh, Pulau is very great for uh, the Ritual Beast one up. Like the one Ritual Beast player I played, uh, game two, I made Chowfang with wins and he didn't play the game. That sucks. Huh. Fucking you, yeah. Yeah. And then the more standard lineup is like. Chiwin. Yep. A lot of people only play uh, only play two Chiwin or very or one person I know only plays one Chiwin. But the thing with Chiwin is you want more tuners. Like even after Path, even after everything, even after Ghost Ogre Railer, you still want more tuners in the deck. Yep. And especially since uh, drawing Chiwin, Dixie, Jiaotu in an opening hand yep. against uh, Against Necros is a win condition. You want to see more of Chi Win, and yeah. you want to see more of Dixie. Okay. Uh, Dixie is definitely the best non-tuner in the deck. Yeah. Two thousand but It offers water. it offers crop immunity to every synchro I make it with, and it's it's basically a win condition. If I have a if I have a strong offensive monster against Burning Abyss or against uh, or again, Stellar Knight. Yeah. If I make a top move. There you go. Uh, Jashu. Yep. Uh, once again, like this is the card that 
really makes the deck go fast and starts every combo. Yeah. Like most people only <laughs> like you don't like this card just because you discard two as cost. Yeah. But uh, we'll get to how we make sure that play goes through later in the profile. Yeah. Uh, to be on. Yeah. Uh, people um, people are saying like this is one of the better ones to draw since it's, it's one of them that has attack. Yeah. And most people want to max out on those because while you're losing conditions, running out of guys in your deck that, has, that have attack because they're all the high level ones. But since I'm playing two and one of the pendulum, it kind of upsets it. Yep. And I don't need the first type as much, especially for Chao Yeah. Yep. And then finally, three to one is pretty standard. Awesome. Like, um, like yeah. One of my favorite plays against Cosmos is to make uh, white and two fires to yep. make fish. And it's 3700, which they which they can't get over. Yeah. So like on it. Speed so. yanking path. Most people only play two, but this is this is like the only card that really gives you solid plus. Yeah, it's great. It's fast. Besides, like the, the only thing like this deck is bad when this card is bad with is when the opponent has speed griefing. Because speed griefing negates this. Okay. Or yeah, DD yeah. throw. Okay. You have to have all three targets in your graveyard. Yeah. And then the like what I have to say makes the deck two anti magic heroes. Okay, what does this motherfucker do? I actually really regret not playing three, but basically it, it's a cold wave that you can't respond to. Yeah. At the start of the battle phase, I activate it and it turns off any spells and traps. Like the only disadvantage with this card is uh, you can't use path or creation if you play this. Wow. Still, amazing. Most of your battle phases, you're summoning a monster and crashing to search down to, which starts your place. Yep. Uh, like, these combinations wow. is just the best. Yeah. The best play in the deck for sure. Uh, two Dark Hole. Yep. Uh, I play this over Raigeki because it, it lets me search down to first turn if I really want to lock them down. Yeah. Uh, one Soul Charge. Yep. Uh, Great. This was like. This card just so amazing in this deck. Like I would say better than in any deck, even Shadows. Like it just has so much utility. I went get, uh, a game against the round ten. I was facing against Necros. Yeah. I opened Jaku Soul Charge and two cards to discard. So I made so I used Jaku to summon uh, Trap Egg uh, that to negate all the. Or sorry, so that they can't activate water monsters effect. Yeah. And it's soul charge for four on his turn. Uh, he and he maxed this, so he drew three. Yeah. And he still couldn't get over it just because it's such a huge board. Like. And yeah. You bring it. You have so many monsters yeah. that you can bring back. So many the huge moment, synchros you can make. The moment Unicorn's is not there, I can synchro on their turn. So even under maxi, like I don't have to go out. Yeah. Then mind control finally. Like this card. Great this card wins. So many games against Shinobles all by itself. Are you taking Synchro with- uh, you fucking make Chaofeng? Yeah. Can you make Chaofeng with, uh, with a non Yang Zang? Yeah. Oh, there it's you go. It's generic, but it only locks out the types that you use Yang Zang for. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so Trap Lineup, uh, 3 Creation. Standard? This is- Standard. Yeah. And like, the thing about it, I've thought about cutting it in the past in, in a OTK build. Yeah. But it's, it just wins- it just gives you like- Free monsters against decks like Tellers or BAs yeah. that they have to attack with. And then, like, all in this attack negation. Two finishing, two breakthrough. And you saw the this warning turn. before. Yeah. Uh, this card is the greatest floodgate, and, like, in my opinion, the only floodgate that is worth running in this deck. Okay. Vanities, if they have it out to it, and it's not like an MST, if it's monster disruption, you pretty much lose. Yeah. And then this card, the activation condition is so painful. Yeah. You have to activate it only if you currently control no special summon monsters. It's probably very hard to do that. Which is which makes it just a terrible type of deck. Yeah. And then uh, why why so much effect negation? What's the point? What are you scared of? Really? The thing is, there is no playing around Trisha in this deck. There's like there's keeping no cards in your hand, but and also like the lose conditions are all effects. Like Trisha's will lose condition, Dwellers will lose condition, like Yeah. Every loss condition is Shadow Mist, mm -hmm. any of that stuff. Yeah, every uh, dark dark law, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every lose condition is an effect. I feel you just want to negate all those. That's a good call. And then 
well, like, also, I want the back row, but I don't care if they attack, so I don't need Miracle Force. Like, I mean, this chain is iffy, but, like, it's good. It's, it's good. good because it lasts forever. Like, I, I was playing against Necros, and they had Gop on the board for, like, five turns. If that was, like, a breakthrough or a failure, they would have just lost every other turn. But since I finished it, like, yeah. it lasts forever. There you go. That's what I care about. And, and then, the warning trench up. Warning trench up. Fucking good. Uh, I do not like Denko. Denko yeah. is not a fun card to play against. <laughs> and then Torrential is very standard. It's just... It, it lets you search, it clears the board, and it's so good against, like, Decisive Armor or against Shadow There you go. And then now uh, we'll do extra deck. Uh, okay. uh, extra deck we can just run through. Uh, mostly it's like standard. Yeah. It's quite standard, like two Boxias, one Chowfang. This card's very good. I yep. was thinking about putting it to today. Like, yeah. Afterwards. Yep. Uh, one Yazi. Yep. And like two Yazi is never essential. You can lock Burning Abyss out with both of these cards. And there's also Clear Ring, which negates one target per turn. Yep. And also negates like high level monsters effects. Yeah. So this is pretty standard. Clear Ring. Uh, really good against it all. Yeah. Uh, we'll just show the whole extra deck, play. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Armadies. Yeah. Uh, these are pretty interesting, but uh, I just want to win in time. And Dark Strike Fighter is really good at their life. It's basically a cowboy for. Yep. And then the Ancient Fairy, uh, I'm siding into Starlight Junction, so okay. against Cosmos I can destroy their town and search against the Cosmos. Gotcha. And then Black Rose, very standard, just blow up the board. Yep. Start a Spark, Protect Blood Gate, Hot Ride, uh, Trishula, yep. very standard. Star Eater, like, uh, I need this card to get over towers. And yep. Probably like the weirdest card in the scene program. But like two two boxes you get on the board extremely easily. And if you open Jazzy Soul Charge, you yeah. can you can make a board of uh of Galgrand Chowfang, which is very hard for any deck that isn't shit holes to get over. And even if it is shit holes, it, it's still it's still not easy. Yeah. So you have to open in like a perfect hand of full home fusion. Yeah. And side. This is the stuff I was trying out today, and like, honestly, it's so good. Jet Synchron and two star. Uh, this from the new structure deck? Yes. Alright, so what do these things do? Okay, so the effect of Starlight Junction is uh, I contribute a uh, tuner to summon uh, Synchron monster with a different level. So it just searches Jet Synchron. But that's yeah. not the important part about Jun Starlight Junction. The greatest part about Starlight Junction is that if I Synchro summon on their turn, I can just shuffle a card on the field back into the deck. Yeah. But it does target, but all the Yang things have the effect that, that I can Synchro Summon on their turn. And and every time I do that, or, or it's once per turn, but every turn, if I Synchro on their turn, I can shuffle back the front of the deck. It's wow. so good for for decks that have, uh, that are playing, like, that play very few back row. Um, yeah. Like, Necros, Super aggressive. Shadows, Super so I just aggressive. that in. Yeah. I just win for a And just Synchro on. I just checked it in because I was looking for a for a 15th card and I was deciding what I wanted. So it just gets a free tuner from the grave by discarding the card, especially by a Starlight like Junction. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, two iron walls. Standard. For yeah. Any, yeah. For anything. Flying speed. Like. How'd that this work is a out? win condition against Burning Yeah. It easy. really is. Easy. Like. They can't get over it. Unless they're tribute. playing like Magic Bandies and like most decks, they have to eventually kill Flying C. Uh, this deck does not. You can just sit, you can just sit and let them attack you with Shore Guide and like other monsters. Uh, two wire taps. Yeah. This is very good, like because other than arrows, you have no way of forcing the chapter play through. Yes. Yeah. This, this is the best way to do so. Like it's better than like like Trap Sun because the thing I don't like about Trap Sun is that it just so fragile and so easy to be destroyed. Wire tap I can use any time, like any time traps activated and the traps done. Yeah. You have to save it up for a big play or else you'll be ending up negating your own traps. Yeah. Fairy win, very standard, like I don't You're scared I, of I don't games. play MSG. Yeah, why not? That's a fucking staple. You're scared of like soul drain and macro yeah, and you just the thing with MST is that if there's something like macro or defisher or like 
or like soul drain. I can play around it with creation and eventually destroy it. But like if I draw MST against Necros, it's just very bad. Uh, and I'd, okay. I'd really avoid that. Like I'm sliding into all the floodgates. Yeah, mistake. Yeah. Nice. Like the thing with signing into mistakes is you can leave the impression that uh, to your opponent that you're not playing back row. Like, I guess, at least many of the Necros players I played against, just, they didn't fight in any back row hate because either I just made trap betting or I only had one set and it was like a way through skill. Similar to what should all do, they, just, they sometimes just have one set and play an LPL fusion and like, they play only real back row as a break through. So, like, Really, a great thing with this deck is that everything's a mystery. No one knows the ratios. No one knows the standard. So like, it, it's just hard to predict. Nice. Well, awesome. This is your first top. Congratulations on that. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you at other events topping. Yeah. Right, take care. Thanks hopefully for the promo. Yeah, you won't get banned. Oh yeah, he got DQ'd in top 16, unfortunately, for accidentally having a second uh, Yazi in his deck box. Uh, but I'm sure you won't get. You're all good. Anyway, congratulations, buddy. Please stay connected with me by adding me on all my social networks on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just copy the link into your search bar and add. Thank you.